Hey guys, it's well if not do six and um, in this video I'll be showing you how to do your timing in any small engine. Um, that means like V twins, um, four horse to twenty horse stuff like that. All right, so they're pretty easy. First, you take the crankcase bolts out. Um, you you want to take them out like you take the head off. Um, you want to loosen them all up and then start taking them out like crisscross pattern. And you may need to replace the gasket in there like you do the head. Um, Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so take the bolts out. Um, some of them are a little hard to get out. Yeah. This is gonna be a pain. Okay. Oh, I wanna take the bolt out. Um, in this model, there's six bolts that hold the crankcase together. Um, you wanna be careful when you take the crankcase apart, cause the the camshaft may fall apart and your push rods may come out. That's one it did. So. This is your your inner crankcase, your camshaft. Okay, so put this one to the side. All right, so I hope you can see this. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. All right, so these are your push rods. You want these to go one in there. They're just gonna fall out, but you know, you know what to do. Alright, so, to do your timing, there's two little holes, not the big one over here. There's two little dots that is uh, engraved, and um, each, or there's one dot on your camshaft, and there's one on your crankshaft. Um, in this model, there is just a little, little line on the crankshaft. Um, so you want to line those gears up. So, in this, you can see that little dot. Right there, in between the two gears or the two teeth, so that's going to be in the same setup on the crank. Okay, so first step, you put your push rods in without them getting dirty. Obviously, they're dirty, so take a paper towel. And you don't want no grime on them, just oil, because um, these are what push up your little. Um, valve springs and your valves. Okay, so clean them off, like I said. Okay, you put these in. I always start with the back one so you can get to the early access. Okay, that one's in. And it's out. <laughs> Alright, so this isn't gonna work. So, what you wanna do is get some oil on these little bitches. Um, a little bit of some oil. Alright, so this is what I just found. Um, probably gave some oil. Who gives a shit? But I'm just pouring a little bit on it. Not even pouring it. Um, just pour a little bit in the cap. Okay, that was a little too much. Alright, so take your cup. You wanna, you wanna soak them in there. Get that one. Get your paper towel. Put it on there. And do the same thing for the other one. Okay, now th this, I hope, because I heard, this will um, just like leave them in there. So they won't fall out. Because it sticks to the metal. Come on, get your, get your ass in there. Yep, okay. That was right. right I hope you can still see that. Yep, you can. Okay. Ooh, ah, oh, great. I got a little fuzz on there from the weather. Uh, little hair on there. Okay. Now you pop that sucker in there. Alright, which it does stay in there, so that's a good. That's good. Oh, my clock's going off. Sorry. For some reason it struck. 
What time is it? It's like 6 o'clock right now. Yep. No. It's saying it's 5 o'clock, but it's actually 7. It's weird. Oh, no, wait. It is 5 o'clock. What am I talking about? All right. Never mind. All right, so take your your dot and your other dot and your crankshaft and you line these bitches up. Okay, I had a little interruption. Okay, well, you take take your dots. Uh, you want to make sure. It's all lined up, which I'm not making sure, so <laughs> put them in there. Alright, so that's lined up. That's good. Um, here, I'll show you. That little line. Oh, I can't see it. Got my crappy mom's tablet. Okay. If you can see it. There's a little line right there. It's really right there with the dot. And it's lined up between the gears. And then that means that means your valves. There's your end of the rod. That means your valves should be lined up. Okay. So that's that's this video. Um no, what am I doing? I'm not even done. Alright. doing So you don't want to make that fall out. You don't want to let that fall out. Um, so you get your crank shit, or your, your crank case. You want to get that back. You want to just put it right back on there. Make sure these little, these little rods right here. You can see that? Yeah, you can see it. There's one on that side and one on the other side. And you want to make sure they're lined up. And you want to make sure your little crankshaft, here, your, this little, shit, you can't see it, what the hell, low lighting. You want to make sure that, that right there, is lined up with that little hole right there. Okay. So I'll just nug that on there. Um... Pound it with your fist, with your palm. Yep. And sometimes, when this doesn't work, um, you want to take a rubber mallet. Rubber. The reason why I say rubber is so if you take a metal one, it will bend or bent the case, and that's bad. So you want to take a rubber mallet, hold the crankshaft, and just hit all around it. Come on. Why is she not going in? She should be going in. There. I got oh, I didn't mean to do that. There, she's in. Alright. Oh, this is new view. Okay. You take your bolts back on. Put them in. And you want to do the same thing I told you to do in the beginning of the video. So that being is to tighten them up by hand. So that on that side, that on that side, that on that side, that on that side, and this on this side. And the uh, sixth one on this side. Okay. And then what you want to start doing and is just getting a wrench and just tighten them up on diagonal. So you tighten that one up, tighten that, tighten that one, tighten that, and you tighten that one. And tighten whatever one you have. This one. So that's video for today. Um... <laughs> Rate, subscribe, and share this bitch up. So, hope you like the video.